What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the all new 2023-24 Select EPL Hobby Box from Panini. These dropped on the Panini website for $255 bucks and can still be purchased from them directly. We do have a few available as personals, so if you're interested, definitely check out the link in the description down below for the Discord, which is where they can be found. And uh, yeah, as always, we're here to show you guys what this product's all about, so let's get right into it. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel, it really helps us grow, and helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that awesome stuff. And let us actually get all the packs out. And uh, yeah, when you click on eBay, search links on this page and make a purchase, it can result in us earning a commission, which also supports us in the long run as part of the eBay Partner Network, just an FYI. And thank you for all your support, guys. So let's do this and all right, struggling here a little bit. Five by 12 format, as you guys can see, uh, we should be getting five to six numbered cards per box and any combination of uh, three autos uh, or mems. And in terms of parallels, I'll show you guys the back so you can see everything that you could get from this. But I'll also put up a reference table on the screen for you guys. Uh, and as you guys can see, they did add one more parallel compared to last year, but the overall print run um, decreased just by a bit, which is nice, but it's nothing too crazy. It's probably like anywhere between like one to 3% decrease uh, theoretically. So it is what it is. And um, in terms of case hits, uh, I think it's actually on the box. Let me just show you guys the side. So that's kind of what you can expect. Uh, stained glass, which is you know typically what most people are after. Uh, this year, the design is kind of strange uh, in person, but then you have uh, visionary and stained glass and team logos are actually also considered case hits. So let's see what this first pack has in store for us. Looks like it's gonna be a regular a refractor pack. Guimaraes and Leon Bailey. All right, starting off very, very mediocre here. And I can feel something thick in this pack. It's gonna be either a filler, which we've seen in all the previous select hobby reviews, but it is not a filler. It looks like it could be an auto and it looks like we have a camo. So let's actually set this one down. Let's take a look at the parallel. And starting us off is He Chan Huang, a field camo out of 175. So they have two kinds of, of camo like you guys saw earlier. Winter camo, I personally like more, uh, but this one, I know a handful of people probably like this one more. So since it's a field, and uh, actually let me show you guys the back. If this is your first time actually seeing a uh, select product, if, if you're very new to the hobby, uh, typically there are uh, three different tiers uh, for rarity. Pin select, you have terrace, mezzanine, and then field. That one is gonna be the least common and typically the most sought after. And then terrace is kind of like the very, very beginning, the most common one. And uh, yeah, mezzanine is gonna be your uncommon. So let me just show you guys since we just talked about that. Uh, wait, where is it? Okay, yeah, it says it at the top right there. So don't feel lost if you can't really tell which is which, um, but again, this is gonna be a field, and I thought this was a filler, but it is not. We got our first autograph, and it is gonna be Morgan Gibbs White. And guys, these are gonna be like 130 points, so you'll need thicker sleeves, and you'll need thicker top loaders for sure. So nothing too crazy here. And we have our second numbered card is gonna be a tie-dye, Joao Pedro. This guy had a nice little streak of brilliance <laughs> during last season maybe, but died off pretty quickly so let's put this guy over here and let's get to this pack what is this pack number number three number two number four and we have a zebra love to see it so not the craziest rarity but it is going to be numbered out of 25 and typically what i'd say is if cards are numbered like 25 or lower that's kind of like what you want to look for in the long run unless it's obviously like a big big chase rookie or like a legend that's like a different story so all right um i think i saw the name actually i was trying to was trying to play the guessing game but i already knew who it was mark gay for england uh he's actually been doing pretty well so we're gonna see how he performs in the final in euro 2024 so zebras are gonna be out of 25 19 out of 25 so far this is the best card we've pulled because that one is just numbered way too high for my liking so let's put this zebra over here 
Uh, Zebra can have like different rarities in like other sets. So if you've been in the hobby long enough, you'll see that Prism has them and like some other select sets have them maybe like different numbering, but uh, there is Mo Salah in our first blue field. These are not numbered. Let me just show you the back. I believe these are the rarest out of the non-numbered parallels. Luis Diaz, also going to be in the final for Copa America. What a crazy time we live in. All right, uh, I'll put this over here. And then we had this filler. Let's put that one over there. And James Trafford. I believe this guy has a like case hit. Can someone please explain that to me? Because I was actually very confused when I saw that. I was like, why, why did he of all people get it? But rookie, I suppose. They're trying to find some rookies. But there's plenty of rookies to actually give uh, case hits to. So we'll get into those in a sec there's field and this could be a patch oh look at that wow this looks actually this looks beautiful so with um with brighton colors this winter camo looks amazing unfortunately it's out of 110 it is what it is but we got two jaw pedros should we go for the rainbow i don't know that's too much work guys uh if you're interested let me know if you want to finish your rainbow but let's see what this one's going to be it might be, uh, it might be an autograph. Who knows? I'm trying to see the team. Is this Newcastle? I don't know, actually. No spoilers, let's just flip it around. And it is Mickey Van De Ven. So this isn't the invisible patch that we got from one of our other reviews. This is actually uh, a Spurs patch, but let's see. Okay, it's not from any specific game or event, so it's not, not associated this time. I believe they either changed that or maybe before. They just didn't have the right wording for it. But it is associated with this guy, but it's not from any specific game or event. I mean, it, he could have just like put on a jersey or whatever, but. Actually, let me get a more 30 points. Top loader, just to show you guys. This is kinda where you can expect these to fit in. There we go. Let's put this guy over here and on to the next pack. And I guess rookies. Uh, we haven't really seen, at least I don't remember seeing any notable ones, but the number one rookie from this entire rookie class is going to be Ethan Waneri for Arsenal. Uh, he debuted for the, you know, men's team, 15 years of age, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but I mean, even at, at at that point, it's, oh, looks like, because I've got a case hit before you get to that. Um, even with that guy, I mean, he's so young, like you're basically prospecting, uh, like at that point, and like you'll just need to see him play. Um, you'll need to see him get like a lot of play time before we can like, you know, consider him like an amazing player or whatever. But he does have the most hype. That's why he's the number one chase rookie from the set at this point. So if he watches maybe like two or three years down the line and it's different, that's why we say these things. Uh, and then right after that, we have Kobe Manu for Man United. We saw his rookie cards uh, in the Prism set as well. And we do have two more tiers for rookies. Let's see what this case hit's gonna be behind this numbered card, or in front of this numbered card. Fair Bruggen. So out of 149, I know a lot of people have been getting um, confused with the multicolors, which I don't think we've pulled so far, but it's like a darker shade. It's actually like a, a closer shade of purple to this. And it's like this whole thing is purple, and then these are actually white, and it's not numbered. That's like basically how to tell the difference. So purple's gonna be numbered. The other purple is not gonna be numbered. So let's see what this case hit's gonna be. Are there any chase rookies that we want to get? Oh, look at that. It is Hungmi Sun. Visionary, better than any chase rookie, in my opinion, from the set. Wow, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I think this visionary design is like better than last year's from what I remember. I'll put up the older one on the screen for reference. Uh, if it is, then it is. If it isn't, then I just probably couldn't remember, but wow, look at that. Definitely not gonna see a lot of these around. Um, by that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the print around of these is gonna be. Probably anywhere between like 25 to like 100. It really just depends. But it's nothing like a color blast or anything, but this just looks very, very nice. Very pleasing to look at. So let's put it on the back center stage. And where are these silvers? Put them over here. But yeah, tier two of uh, rookies. Uh, we have John Duran, Adam Morton, uh, Lewis Miley. You know, his hype has been falling off, but I mean, he is pretty young. Uh, older than Ethan Winery, but there's Josen. He is, I believe, gone to uh, Chelsea. 
So it may, this, these might be his last cards for uh, Fulham for 2023-24 season. But Silver, Field, Morgan, Gibbs, White. Put him over here. And Filler, Lewis Cook. So besides, uh, besides the Lewis Miley group, uh, I guess you can throw in Jaden Dans and um, I don't know, some others. that Their names will also be on the screen. Uh, just because those are like the only ones I could really think of. Uh, Oscar Bob is going to be the next tier down uh, in my book. And there's like probably like maybe three to four other rookies with him, like Mateusz Franca or Ben Doak. But there's Sander Burge or Berga. Forgot how you pronounce that exactly. I'm pretty sure it's the second one. But non numbered red. Is that our only? That's our second unnumbered card. We should be seeing a multicolor any day now. This was a really thin pack, actually. All right, another red, Lyle Foster. Some people were chasing his rookie card from the Prism set, but I mean, he is like one of the older rookies uh, with more experience outside of the Premier League, but they gave him an RT because Premier League debut. What are you gonna do? It's a gray area for soccer. It's not like uh, other sports where it's pretty pretty obvious who's a rookie and who's not. Uh, what is this, just an insert? So we did get a multicolor, and it is gonna be Austin Trusty and then Allison Becker with select stars. So like I said, this one's not gonna be numbered and you'll get the purple on the borders and then um, white on the, whatever you wanna call these squares, rectangles. Okay, so four unnumbered cards. And I believe we've pulled all of our number cards. One, two, three, four, five. So this one should be another auto or patch. Uh, and then we have another one down here, which we've been sitting on. I don't know. I don't think anything's going to beat that Hungmin Sun. Hungmin Sun Auto, I guess, would beat it. But did we get... Hold on. Oh, no. So we did We didn't pull a patch. I forgot. All right. Hopefully we get another auto and not a patch. thought this one was a black for a second. I don't lose my mind there. Happens in every single box, almost. And filler. All right. So another multicolor. We got a goalkeeper. Let's put this guy over here. And moment of truth because I'm looking for, personally, I don't know. Actually, there's a lot of nice players in the checklist, even though the checklist overall is like pretty rough. So I believe it is gonna be, it is gonna be a signature. I think I know who it is. Three, two, one. Oh, that is not who I thought it was. So I saw HR and I was like, Harry Redknapp, because <laughs> he's in this checklist too, at least it would be a legend, but Harrison Reed. So he has this little scribble with an H in it. H -R actually, it's, it's kind of, it's simple. It's kind of like a less is more kind of autograph. So let's just put it that way. But it's not anything that most of us are going to be chasing. Uh, like I said, it's going to be really hard to beat that Sonny over there. We got really lucky with that one. And uh, yeah, let's actually do a recap. Um, all of these guys, top loader as well. All right, so we got two autos, one patch. Uh, personally, from my experience, <laughs> this one is probably the better one out of these two, uh, just because it's a rookie and it's Mickey Van De Ven. Uh, he was one of the lower end chase rookies from the Prism set in my book, but numbered cards, or actually unnumbered cards. Let's take a look at those first. We got one, two, three, four, five. So two reds, one blue, two multicolors. I feel like that's pretty average because blue is the least common out of all those. And then in terms of numbered cards, the best one was a zebra here out of 25. And then we had purple out of 149. We had, actually this one looks pretty beautiful in my opinion. It's a shame that it's numbered out of 110. And then we had tie dye. This one is out of 49. And then we had field, he Chan, Huang. Uh, got a little bit of a Korean boy box here, but the biggest one of them all is this visionary Hung Min Sun. I'm actually going to try to inspect this. Probably going to take it to the National with me. Might submit it for grading, although PSA's fees at the National are super expensive, so might have to just do it separately. We'll see. But how do we actually feel about this set, guys? I'll put up the rating on the screen while we talk about it. But, you know, starting with the design, uh, it's the same story as the other two select sets that we reviewed, so La Liga and Serie A. But 
thumbs up for sure for the design uh not s tier by any means but it is it is nice it is pleasing to look at um and in terms of launch price uh it isn't really bad for a select set in my opinion uh and it is a bit cheaper than what they dropped uh for last year for the 2022 23 set but you know now we're going to mention the print run again and how it's three times the size of the next smallest set which is the la liga one so you know my take on that is that panini is really trying to provide like more supply for the much bigger fan base that epl has uh you know globally uh so we'll just have to wait and see what happens uh to the price in a few months and uh, overall you know it is a fun set uh it's chrome it's select you are getting a lot of hits but you know it really hasn't improved much compared to last year's set so the rating is going to be you know very very similar if not exactly the same uh we do need a shorter print run um cheaper price or you know even an improved like auto checklist to see the rating go up so expect to see a lot of boxes with filler autos uh because you know that's exactly what happened with us uh that's honestly the only way they can keep their print run high and still have like a plenty or like a a good amount of like really really good autos in there but you know all it takes is pulling you know one black prism one and one from one single box and you know from my experience it's a really really nice feeling so to all you guys out there trying to rip some of these boxes, good luck. Show us your pulls, Discord, Instagram. We'd love to see it. We've seen some crazy cards lately, so don't stop, guys. Keep them coming. But that's going to be pretty much it, guys, uh, for the rating. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Stick around for more content, group breaks, and giveaways. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.